Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. What should I wear today? Well, not that it really matters because no one's really going to see me anyway. Hey, freak. Lucas, get out of my room. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um, You're such a weirdo. What? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm normal. How come you have cat ears then and that bright pink hair? Mom won't even let you leave the house. I'm, I'm beautiful in my own way, okay? At least that's what mom tells me. Now get out of my room! Fine, whatever, freak. Bye, have fun staying here all day homeschooling while I go hang out with my friends at school. <sighs> Hi, I'm Maggie, and this is my life. Yes, I was born part cat, and no one has ever seen my face except for my mom and my brother. Hi, Mom! Oh, hi, Maggie. Good morning. Are you hungry for breakfast, my cute little girl? Are you purring? Oh, yeah, that's right. You were born part cat. I guess that's sort of normal. I mean, your brother didn't do that, but he's not part cat. Anyway, do you want something to eat? Ah, uh, yeah, Mom. I'd really like some tuna. Right from the can. Tuna? Um... Honey, normally little kids don't eat tuna for breakfast. I want tuna! It sounds so good! And also a, a dish of milk, please. Oh, okay. Meow! This looks delicious! Maggie! That's, that's not how we eat! Humans don't eat like that! Meow! I'm part cat! And this is how I eat! Mmm, it's delicious. More of the tuna, Mom! Yeah, being a little kid was really hard. I had to learn how to be more human than cat. My mom still gets freaked out when I purr, but I only usually purr when I'm super happy. I am still part cat, you know. The only thing is, is my mom and my brother are even freaked out by how I look, so mom thought it was best if no one on the planet ever saw how I looked, ever. There's only one problem with being stuck in the house with no one being allowed to see me. And that's, I have no life. I'm lonely and I'm getting sick and tired of being stuck in these four walls. Sometimes I get so jealous of my brother and he's so mean to me about being part cat. Oh, honey, there you are. Are you ready to start homeschooling? No, I'm not ready. I don't want to do this anymore. Do what, honey? Oh, you look beautiful today, by the way. No, I don't. I look ugly. I'm the ugliest girl in all of Brookhaven. <laughs> honey, that's not true. Don't say that. I am. <laughs> Meow. Oh, no. Now I let my cat's side come out. <laughs> no one would like me because I'm part cat. It was then that I think my mom started to have a change of heart. She didn't want to just keep me as a prisoner in this house. She didn't want me to think that I was so different that no one would ever love me or accept me. Maggie, I think I made the wrong decisions with you. What? What are you talking about, Mom? Well, honey, I I kept you in the house so no one could see you to, to keep you safe. And I don't know, there's no other cat human that I know of in all of Brookhaven or the world and I was just a little worried that scientists would want to study you and and I don't know poke you with needles and what what are you talking about mom well, that's what I'm saying you're the only cat human and scientists would be very interested in, to know why I didn't want you to be a test subject oh I see mom and I didn't want you to get teased for being different 
I know, Mom. It's just sometimes I get so sick of just being in this house all the time. Sometimes I feel like I'm gonna go crazy! I know, Maggie. And that's why I've made a decision. We are going to disguise you. Say what? What are you talking about, Mom? We're going to disguise you so you can go to school with the rest of the kids your age. But you can never, ever take your disguise off. Seriously, Mom? You figured out how to disguise me? Yeah, I've been thinking that this day may come, and I've been practicing on myself. I think that I can cover up the fact that you're part cat. Meow! Really, Mom? Yeah, as long as you don't let out those meows or purr. No one should know the difference, but your pink hair will have to stay, because there's no way we can dye that away. Oh my gosh! I think I might actually get to live like everyone else does. Okay, Mom, I agree. Disguise me, disguise me. Just remember, Maggie, there's nothing wrong with the way that you are. We're just doing this to protect you. Um, okay, Mom, I understand. All right, let's get started. Oh my gosh, Mom, I, I look normal. Meow. But just remember, no meowing while you're at school, okay? Okay, Mom, thank you so much. I can't wait to have a normal life. Just remember, don't let your guard down. Don't tell anybody you're part cat. I won't, Mom. I promise. And just like that, I started my life as a normal girl. OMG, my first day of real school. I'm kind of nervous. My tummy has butterflies. It's going to be okay, Maggie. It's going to be okay. You can do this. Meow. Just don't let out any meows. Oh my gosh. Maggie? Is that you? Yes, it's me, Lucas. Mom disguised me and we're not allowed to tell anyone. Don't worry. I won't freak. Ugh, you're such a horrible big brother. Ugh. Barf. Oh, who are you? I've never seen you before. Oh, yeah, I used to be homeschooled, but I'm a new student. I'm Maggie. Oh, hey, I'm Sarah. Nice hair. Wow, it's really bright pink. Yeah, um, well, where I used to live, pink was like the hair color. So I just, I wanted to keep it this way. It's very me. Uh-huh, sure. Well, you're standing next to my locker, so I guess maybe we can be friends oh a friend i i i never had a friend before what you've never had a friend before oh i mean in this town in brookhaven where we used to live in blacksburg yeah i had lots of friends tons of friends i wasn't homeschooled no no i went to an awesome school there my parents moved um my mom got a new job yeah i i go to school here now Okay, weirdo. Chill out. We can be friends. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. We're even wearing the same shirt. Sarah, you know what this means? We're like twinsies. Whatever. I'm the most popular girl in school. I don't have a twin with anyone. Oh, yeah. Of course. Sure. From that moment forward, Sarah and I were besties. Well, at least in my mind, we were best friends. This school pizza is delicious. You act like you've never had school pizza before. <laughs> okay, sometimes, Maggie, you say the weirdest things. Oh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> it's just, well, um, mm, I never had Brookhaven high um, food before. Yeah, that's it. So, Maggie, today at lunch, I want you to tell me your deepest, darkest secret. What? my deepest darkest secret why because that means that we're actually best friends only when I know your deepest darkest secret can we actually be BFFs oh um, well I'm not really supposed to tell you but you are my best friend just promise me you won't tell anyone Sarah me of course I wouldn't don't be ridiculous Maggie we're best friends after all Okay, come into the bathroom and I'll show you. 
Seriously? In the bathroom? Why? You'll see, come on. Okay, let me just lock the door. Wow, this really is your deepest, darkest secret. All right, now turn around. If this is a prank, Maggie, I'm gonna be so mad at you. It's not a prank, okay? Okay, I know this might be shocking, but you can turn around. Meow. What's that, a cat? Yeah, you can turn around, turn around. Ah! What's going on with your face? And why do you have cat ears? Um, don't freak out. Um, meow. But I'm part cat. And this is making me really nervous, so now I'm meowing a whole lot when I'm supposed to be pretending that I'm only human. Seriously? You're part cat? Cat and part human? Uh-huh. But don't tell anyone, okay, Sarah? Um, okay, so you wear a disguise every day? Yeah, I'll show you. Holy guacamole! But like I said, Sarah, don't tell anyone. No, no, I won't, Maggie. Uh, nope, no, I wouldn't tell anyone your deep, dark secret. So I'll see you in ninth period? Yeah, sure. Bye! Oh, I hope I did the right thing by telling her my secret. I'm going to be late for English class. <sighs> Maggie is part cat? <gasps> Sarah, you betrayed me! I thought you were my best friend, but, but I was wrong. Okay, wh where's the eraser? We have to erase this before the rest of the class gets in here. Not a chance, weirdo. You're a serious freak. I'm calling the authorities. What? No, give me that phone! Get away from my cell phone before I, before I, before I call the principal. Sarah, please. I thought we were friends. <laughs> They'll want to experiment on me. I was so heartbroken that my best friend had betrayed me. But I couldn't think about that now. I had to run. Where should I run to? I've never had to run away before. Oh my gosh, I wish I was with my mom. But if I go back to my house, they'll find me there, I bet. Okay, I just gotta run really fast. I don't want anyone to capture me. Oh no, my my makeup is coming off. And now everyone can see I'm a cat. I've gotta run, I've gotta run. Oh. Hold it right there. <laughs> Hi. I'm not an evil science lab, I promise. What? You stay away from me! Just hold still, this won't hurt a bit. Haha, <laughs> this isn't laughing, guys, just hold still. What? <laughs> Why am I laughing then? <laughs> Whoa, I feel weird. Now it's time to find out why you're part cat, part human. Let me out of here! Maybe I could make a jump for it. I mean, I am part cat. Oh, but it might break my legs. Oh, wait, what's that smell? It's gas filling up the entire cab of this van. You'll be going night-night any minute. What? I feel kind of funny. Oh, what? Where am I? Well, 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 she's finally awake. Meow. Whoa, she meowed like a cat. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. I don't know why. I mean, she's part cat, but she meows even. Let me out of here. I'm going to call my mom. No one can hear you. Now we just have to draw some blood to see why you're part cat. Stop it. Oh, meow, meow. oh you scratched me, you naughty little cat. Oh my gosh, I've got to make a break for it. Oh my gosh, i got to get to my mom. She'll know what to do. Mom. Mom! Maggie, what's wrong? Mom, I accidentally told somebody I'm part cat. Meow. What? Maggie? Yeah, and she told everyone. And, and this crazy scientist, he, he took my blood to see what, well, he tried to see why I was part cat. And, 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 and I scratched him, but, but, but what? But what? But he's going to be after me. Him and all of his scientist friends, they want to find out why i'm part cat oh my gosh maggie this is why i tried to keep you in the house where you were safe all right let me call your brother's cell phone we're gonna have to move right away my whole family had to move after that and we move every like three months just so i never get caught 
and I made the wrong choice trusting Sarah. I can never, ever let anyone see my face ever again. Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie and this is my story. Guys, it's true. I faked having amnesia when I didn't really have it. I wanted to forget everything in my life and, well, I wanted everyone to think that I couldn't do the things that I used to be able to do because I wasn't really happy. This is my story. It all began when I was a little girl. Mommy, 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 I'm really hungry. Could you make me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Ugh, why can't you be like your older sister, Annabelle, Stephanie? Ugh, she could do anything at your age, like make her own PB&J. She could, she could walk the dog, take out the trash. You're just, you're useless. You can't do anything. Oh, but I, I'm only five. I, I don't know how to make a PB&J sandwich. You've never taught me. Well, learn for yourself. Google it. I'm busy watching my show. Okay, mom, I'm, I'm really sorry that I, I, I bothered you. I'll figure it out for myself. Okay, it can't be that hard, right? Mom, mom, guess what? Uh, what is it, Annabelle? My favorite show is on right now. But mom, this is important. I got cheerleading captain today. Seriously? Honey, I'm so proud of you. You are definitely the golden child. You are perfect. Mom, mom, look. I figured out how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Aren't you so proud of me? Uh, congratulations. You actually learned how to do something that everyone else on the planet can do. Ew. Stephanie, did you put mustard on that? Um, yeah. Are you supposed to? Ew. No. Is mustard in the name? No, it just says peanut butter and jelly. It doesn't say peanut butter, jelly, and mustard. Well, it doesn't talk about the bread either, but you put bread on it. Ugh, enough. Just go, Stephanie. That smells horrible. Okay, I, I guess I won't bother you guys anymore. <laughs> Nobody loves me. She's such a crybaby, Mom. I know, honey, but let's not spoil your great news. We could go out and have lobster for dinner to celebrate. Really, Mom? Oh, that's amazing. Wait, does Stephanie get to go? No, I'll call her Grandma. She can sit with her. She doesn't need to go out to a fancy restaurant. She didn't earn this special award. Over the years, I learned how to be perfect for my mom. I didn't want to let her down or be, well, a disappointment. I joined the swim club. I became the cheerleading captain. Basically everything I didn't want to do. I was really into playing Roblox, reading books, and riding my bike, but those things didn't impress my mom. So I just became what she wanted instead of what I really was. Good morning, mom. Good morning. Where's your cheerleading outfit? Oh, um, it's um, still in the wash. You have big game today. You need to be wearing that. Why are you frowning? You should be so excited. You're the cheerleading captain now. Um, yeah, uh, sure. I just kind of have an upset stomach. Um, well, get over it because this is the big game and everyone in the squad is depending on you. So let me see your smile, Stephanie. Oh, uh, okay. Is this better, Mom? Yes. And don't let me catch you frowning again, or I'll wipe Vaseline on your teeth so you can't close your mouth. Uh, okay, um, well, I better get to school. Aren't you forgetting your cheerleading outfit? Yeah, I'll go change. I can't even be myself. I'm just so tired of being fake. I wanna, I wanna be who I really am. Not like she cares or anything. She just wants me to be exactly who she wished she was in high school. My mom was the most unpopular girl in school, and now she wants me to make up for it. That's better, Stephanie, but you forgot something again. What? I, I, I already did my homework. 
No, the frown. Remember, I said I would wipe Vaseline on your teeth if you didn't start smiling more. The cheerleading captain always smiles. Oh, yes. Sorry, Mom. Don't let me catch you frowning again or you're grounded. Okay, sorry. Good luck at the big game. I'll be there. Do a good job. I will, Mom. I won't let you down. Don't worry. Ugh. This is going to be the worst day ever. I don't want to be cheerleading captain. Stephanie, what are you doing? You're the cheerleading captain. You're supposed to be gathering up the entire cheerleading squad and getting us to practice before the big game. And all you want to do is sit there on your iPad? Uh, Lori, I'll be there in a second. I just, I have to win this Roblox game. What? Roblox game? Why would you be playing that? Oh, um, well, I kind of sort of want to be a gamer. What? You're a cheerleader, not a gamer. Get with the program. Oh my gosh. Come on. Everyone's depending on you. Well, I, I guess I could play this game later. Everyone is depending on me. Okay, squad, like this. Be aggressive. Be -e aggressive. All right, um, guys, you just have to jump a little bit higher. Come on, you guys can do this. If Stephanie doesn't watch it, I'm totally going to take over as cheerleading captain. <laughs> I hate my life. <laughs> it's too much pressure, and it's not what I want. <laughs> the only fun I ever was allowed to have was when I rode my bike home from school or cheerleading practice. In those moments, with the wind blowing through my hair, and it was just me without any pressure, I truly felt happy. I feel so happy, I feel so happy. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I hit the cheerleading captain. Her life's gonna be ruined. She probably broke both of her legs. Oh my gosh. 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, I accidentally hit the Brookhaven cheerleading captain. Seriously? <gasps> You've ruined her life. She won't be able to cheer ever again. Well, I, I wouldn't make that assumption. I mean, we don't even know yet. But could you just send an ambulance? Okay, we're dispatching an ambulance now. This is where things got really, really interesting. You see, I was hurt, but not as bad as everyone thought I was. Hi, Stephanie. I'm a doctor. Of course, you might not know that because you got such a bonk on the head. Huh? What? Yeah, I know you're a doctor. I can tell you're a doctor. Do you remember anything about your life? Um, well, I remember. It's okay. I know you don't remember. Everything's going to be fine. But I was going to say that I actually, this sort of thing happens. Amnesia is a thing. You may remember, you may not, but at least you're not in a coma, right? The doctor kept trying to tell me I had amnesia, even though I didn't. I remembered everything about my miserable life before the accident. But since everyone thought I had amnesia, this could actually work to my benefit. I decided that I'd go along with it and maybe I wouldn't have to live a miserable life anymore. Stephanie, I'm so worried about you. You, you are, Mom? Yeah, I mean, I know that I haven't always been the best mom to you, but but you're a good daughter and a good cheerleader and and a and a good student and a good and a good swim team captain and what? I'm the swim team captain and the cheerleading captain and what? I I, I don't know how to cheerlead. I don't I don't even know how to swim. Wait, what? Oh my gosh, doctor. She really does have amnesia. How long will this last? Well, she did get in a very serious accident. It might last forever. What? She might be different forever? Well, honey, I still love you. For the first time ever in my entire life, my mom actually acted like she saw me. I mean, really me. And loved me anyway. I wasn't going to let this go. No way. So I lied and said I had amnesia, even though I didn't. And you know what? Things in my life started to get a lot better. Don't worry, honey. I'll take very good care of you, Stephanie, until you're on your feet again. Will you make me peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, Mom? Of course I will, honey. Of course I will. When I started to feel better, I thought my mom would pressure me to be a cheerleader again or on the swim team or any of that stuff she wished I would be. 
but she actually didn't. Hey, honey, I made you a PB&J sandwich. <laughs> Do you remember how to be a cheerleader yet? Uh, no, sorry, Mom, I still don't remember. But thanks for the PB&J, I think I'm gonna play some Roblox. Oh, okay, well, you know, honey, I'm just so glad I didn't lose you. It really made me realize that I, I had been pressuring you and pushing you way too hard. Was she for real right now? Like, I don't have to do cheerleading or any of the other things I don't want to do. I can be myself. And she made me a PB&J sandwich. Things were going right for the first time in my life. I want you to be whoever you want to be, Stephanie. <sighs> now, here, eat this delicious sandwich. Did you put mustard on it, Mom? <laughs> of course I did. You love mustard on your peanut, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Mmm. Mom, this is delicious. I'm so glad. Honey, I love you. I love you too, Mom. Hi guys, my name is Annabelle and well, I never leave my house. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm a prisoner inside my own house. And no, it's not my parents or anyone else that's captured me. I have osteogenesis, and that means it's like I'm made of glass. It all started when I was born. Okay, Sarah, just one more push. I am pushing. Oh, Dr. Smith, oh, my stomach hurts. It's gonna be okay. Just one more push and I'll catch your baby. I bet she's gonna be beautiful. Okay. Here I go! Ow, wee, wee. Where's my baby, doctor? Oh, uh, your baby's right here, but your baby's definitely gonna have to go to the NICU. Wait, what? Why? Give me my baby, Annabelle! She's gonna be okay, but it appears that she's broken both of her legs and both of her arms when she was being born. Seriously, why? I don't know. We'll have to do some testing. Okay, baby Annabelle, we're just going to take some x-rays to find out what's going on. Everything is going to be a-okay. But nothing was a-okay. I was born with glass syndrome. That's right. This special type of disease makes it so that my bones are really brittle. It's like I'm made of glass and they can break just from the simplest things. I think this made my mom really sad. Where's my baby? Where's Annabelle? I have your baby right here, Sarah. Dr. Smith, what happened? Is she all right? Well, I've bandaged up her broken arms and legs, but we need to be very, very careful. Sarah, I'm so sorry to tell you this, but your baby has osteogenesis. What? What's that? You mean she's a genius? No, no. It means she has made of glass syndrome. What? Not my baby, that doesn't even run in my family. Your baby is very special and very unique. You have to be very careful with her. She's fragile, like a porcelain doll. Finally, I get to meet you, my sweet little Annabelle. Hi, George, it's Papa. Oh, I'm your mommy, sweetheart. And you're very special, but don't worry. I'll never let anything bad happen to you. Mr. Monkey, I wish I had a friend. I'm really lonely. I mean, I know I'm made of glass and stuff, but my heart isn't. My heart is super strong and, and it could love all these different friends if I had some. But it's just you and me, Mr. Monkey, forever, I guess. Hey, over there, what's your name? Oh, hi, I'm Annabelle. Hi, I'm Hannah. Who's that you got there? Oh, this is Mr. Monkey. He's my best friend. Um, he's not real, but don't tell him that. He doesn't know it. Oh, yeah, I have a favorite stuffed animal, too. Um, I just moved into the neighborhood, and I was wondering, um, do you want to be friends? Seriously? You'll be my friend? Okay. Um, but I have this disease. Oh, man, is it like the flu? Can you catch it? No, you can't catch it. Okay, we're cool then. Hey, do you know how to ride a skateboard? Um, no, but I always wanted to try. I saw people on TV doing that. 
We'll put Mr. Monkey down and I'll show you how. Okay, so all you do is you just step on it like this and then push with your foot and go! Whoa, that looks so cool. Okay, I'll try. This is going to be so much fun. Yeah, you act like you've never ridden a bike or a skateboard or anything before, Annabelle. Well, I haven't because of that disease that I told you about, but I think I'll be just fine. My mom just makes me seem like I'm, I'm like, well, made of glass. But I'm not! I'm not! Of course you aren't, Annabelle. You can do anything. I'm your new best friend, so I know these things. Go ahead. Let's see you go. All right. Here goes nothing. Whoa! <laughs> This is so fun! Whee! Whoa! Oh my gosh, I can't stop! How do I stop? Ah! Annabelle? Annabelle, are you okay? Annabelle! I'm not okay. I think I've broken every bone in my body. Call 911. Call 911! What's the, what's the last thing you needed to say? Oh, wait, yeah, 911, duh. Of course she wants me to call 911. 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, um, I was skateboarding with my friend and she has this disease. I don't know what it is. She didn't tell me, but her whole body is like broken because she fell off her skateboard. Oh my gosh. Okay, where are you? Um, I'm just a little kid. I don't know directions very well. Oh, we're on Brookhaven Street and, um, Main Street. Yeah. Hurry, please! She needs your help! Okay, stay calm and tell me, is she breathing? Um, yeah, she's breathing! Good, we'll be there shortly. Now that the patient is asleep, we can begin surgery. I can't believe how many broken bones she has. It'll be a miracle if she ever walks again. Mom, why did you want me to meet you here? Okay, honey, well, I have a big surprise. This is is our new home. What? What is this place? Well, it used to be a prison, but now it's where you live. <laughs> what are you talking about, Mom? Why are we going to be living here? Mr. Monkey and I don't want to live here. Well, honey, after a lot of saving, I was able to afford this house, and I think it's for the best that you live in here. What? Why? I'm not a prisoner. Well, I just think there's a lot of things set up to keep you safe. And when you're made of glass... Mom, you're trying to keep me inside there and not ever let me go outside! What I'm trying to do is to keep you safe, Annabelle. Mr. Monkey, can you believe this? She's gonna lock us up! She's gonna lock us up forever! Oh, Annabelle, I never hoped that you would have this disease, but you do, honey, and this is the reality. I mean... You're just starting to be able to walk again, and, and, and I can walk. I'll, I'll even show you. See? I, I'm okay. Ouch. Ow. Honey, you're not all the way healed. Be careful. I am healed, and, and I'm not living in that prison. Come on, Mr. Monkey. We'll just run away. Oh. Ow. Annabelle. Annabelle. Oh, my God. Did you break something? I don't think so. Why aren't my legs working? Because, honey, you broke them and they're still healing. I, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to live in the prison house. I understand, Mom. I understand. At first, living in the prison house was a real bummer. I mean, it looked like, well, a prison. But I painted and I made the room really cute. So it's super adorable. This is where I go to school. You guessed it, I go to school at home. This is also where I sleep and eat. Hey, Annabelle, did you do your schoolwork? Yeah, Mom. Oh, be careful, don't use your fingers too much. They might break. Mom, I have to do my schoolwork. Okay, I'm just saying, give your fingers a break. There's bones in there. I mean, don't give them a break. That would be bad. Mom, I know what you mean. Uh, be careful when you get off of your computer chair. Mom, you're being too paranoid. I don't think I can be too paranoid, Annabelle. I just want what's best for you. My mom is super paranoid I'm gonna get hurt, and I guess I understand. She just loves me, but sometimes these walls feel like they're closing in on me. 
Like I'm gonna go insane. I, I just want to get out of here so badly. But then I remember that this is my life and I have to make the best of it. Don't worry, my best friend Hannah still comes over and visits me, but do you think you could live this way? Well, do you, Mr. Monkey? Mr. Monkey, are you gonna leave me a comment in the comment section below and let me know if you can live with osteogenesis and be made of glass? Because this is my life and it's the only one I've got, so I have to make the best of it. Why won't my locker open? Ugh, this locker is so annoying. Hey Molly, good morning. Hey Brookie, I can't open my locker. I feel like such a noob. Um, sometimes if you just hit it like this, it, it'll open. Holy guacamole, that actually worked. Molly, did you hear there's a new student in our school? Wait, what, there is? Have you talked to her yet? No, I don't wanna talk to her. Seriously, you're like the most friendliest person on the planet. Why wouldn't you wanna talk to her? Because everyone said she's, well, mean and insane. Really? Yeah, everybody's talking about it. Her name's Amanda. Well, Brookie, you can't always judge a book by its cover. Meaning, you can't always believe rumors that you hear. People can just, like, make up lies and stuff. I don't think so, Molly. Something tells me there's just something off about this girl. I saw her at the library this morning, and, well, she was acting kind of strange. Strange how, Brookie? Oh, Molly, there's the bell. We'll have to talk about it after class. I don't want to be late. Yeah, me either. I don't need detention again. I wondered when you were going to show up, Molly. Ah, like you needed another detention. Hey, I'm here on time. I'm totally here on time. Wait, Brookie, is that the Amanda girl? Yeah, it is. But like I said, be careful. She seems kind of cray-cray. All right, totally. I'll be. I'll totally be cool, but I still think we should be friendly with her. Okay, class. I want everyone to be quiet and to take out their English workbooks. First, though, we have a new student. Would everyone say hi to Amanda, please? Hi, Amanda. Nice to meet you. Now, Amanda, I know you're new here, but perhaps you could answer question number three. Just try your best. Of course I'll answer number three. I'd be happy to. I love school. I'm not a troublemaker. No, I didn't get kicked out of my old school for being a troublemaker or crazy or doing anything insane. No, 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 no. We just moved because, well, we wanted a change of scenery. Yeah, that's it. And Brookhaven seemed like the perfect change of scenery. <laughs> okay, yeah, problem number three. Uh, that's the question you wanted me to answer, right? It sure is, Amanda. <laughs> I'm so glad you love school so much. And you'll be a part of our Brookhaven community. So question number three is tell the class about your summer reading. Well, I read Harry Potter and my favorite part of the entire book was when Harry Potter died. <laughs> I thought that part was amazing. Holy guacamole, is she for real right now? That's the most horrible part of the story. Maybe Brookie was right. Psst, Molly, I told you she was crazy. I mean, the fact that he survived after all was kind of a bummer. Really lame, if you ask me. <laughs> okay, Amanda, um, thank you for that answer, <laughs> which was very interesting. But I'm glad you read Harry Potter. It shows that you read something over the summer, which is very, very good. Okay, class. Yeah, there's definitely something strange about her. Psst, Brookie, meet me after class. I have an idea. <laughs> Mm, this pizza's delicious. Molly, what did you have to tell me? Why did you want me to meet you in the cafeteria? Well, I wanted you to meet me here because mm, I wanted to eat some of this leftover pizza. Molly, did you have something to tell me or not? Yeah, but kill two birds with one stone. I mean, I'm eating pizza. I'm going to tell you what I want to tell you. Ugh, Molly, you just spit pepperoni at me. Oopsie, sorry. <laughs> anyway... I wanted to tell you that that Amanda, she really does seem kind of insane. But there's only one way to really find out. Really? What is it? We have to go inside her brain. What? <laughs> inside her brain? Are you crazy? 
No, my sister and I have this special formula that if you take it, it shrinks you down and you can see what's inside someone's mind. It's very useful. We used it on my mom once. Uh, I don't know if that's a good idea. What if she's really crazy and we can't get out, back out of her brain? Oh, I never thought about that. But I'm sure everything will be fine. I heard her talking about how she was going to go to the gym. We should try to go into her brain there. There's Amanda playing basketball all by herself. That's because she doesn't have any friends because she says really weird and creepy things. Yeah, that was pretty creepy in English class today. So what are we doing here, Molly, anyway? We're taking this shrinking potion and we're going inside Amanda's brain. What? Are you crazy, Valdo? I think she totally is. No, we just gotta find out if she's really evil or if the rumors are true. I'll go first. Molly, I think this might be a really bad idea. Too late. I'm shrinking! Your turn, guys. Mmm, this actually tastes really good. I'm so glad I made it taste like mint chocolate chip. Daisy, not the point. Get shrinking already. Mmm, it is really good. Whoa, I think it's working. Wow! Oh, oh my gosh. I feel super strange. Now we're ready to go inside Amanda's brain. Well, guys, here goes nothing! Bah! Did you find anybody to be my mommy yet? No, Wooly, not yet, but don't worry. I'm sure someone will be the perfect mommy for you. Hey, <laughs> I'm here to adopt an adorable little puppy. Oh, I'm sorry. We don't have any puppies for adoption right now. But we do have one adorable baby left. What is it, like a cat? I could probably adopt a cat. No, it's a baby sheep. Bah, I'm Wooly. What, a baby sheep? That's so dumb. Why would I ever want to adopt a baby sheep? Ugh, they smell like a barnyard. Bah, actually, I take a bath all the time. I'm not smelly at all. I would make a perfect pet. Yeah, Willie is one of our best, best animals we've ever had. He's super helpful and super sweet. Well, I guess he'll do. I'll sign the adoption paperwork. Really? You're gonna be my mommy? Oh, I'm so excited! Bleh! Bleh! Mommy, what should we do first? I mean, you just adopted me. I'm so excited! First of all, stop calling me mommy. I'm not your mommy. Oh, bleh! Sorry! Second of all, you're gonna go in there and take money from the Brookhaven Bank. No one ex would expect a sheep. Um, but uh, I, 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 I think it's wrong to rob banks. I don't care. If you want to eat and I'm the only one who can feed you, then you better go rob that bank. Uh, bleh. Okay, but I hope I don't get in trouble. Bleh. I stole a bunch of money and I didn't even get caught. Amanda, now maybe you'll be my mommy because bleh, I stole all the money and I didn't even get caught. What? Yes, you did. Look, here comes the police. Bleh. Run. Run, Mommy, run. Don't call me that. Oh, my gosh. I, bleh. I can't go to jail. Bleh. Oh, I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten in days. Oh. Hey, look. There's a cute little sheep. Oh, he's homeless. Oh, I feel sorry for him. Hey, maybe I could get you a, a muffin from Starbucks. Would you like that? Bleh. Please, I'm so hungry. Bleh. Okay, little guy, don't worry. I'll get you something delicious. Ah! Whoa! That was crazy! Whoa, that was kind of weird. Ugh, must be I just have some earwax in my ears. Amanda! You're, you're, you're crazy and mean! Why are you so tiny? Um, uh, well, um, just, okay, wait a minute. The, the potion's gonna wear off any minute. Now you two are small. What, what's going on? We went inside your brain, and we know exactly what happened. What? What are you talking about? Yeah, we know about Wooly, Amanda. What? Who's Wooly? 
Exactly. You can't even remember his name. But he was a little sheep that you said you would adopt, but just you just had him rob the bank. Oh, yeah. He was really good at being my accomplice. <laughs> but once I was done with him, I was done. You're mean. I, I think what everyone's saying about you is true. It totally is. It's why I left Bloxburg. Because, well, I got kicked out of the town. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe this girl Amanda's actually going to our school. Well, believe it. Because I'm here to stay. <laughs> Until I get kicked out, that is. But I plan on having a lot of fun till then. <laughs> Hi, I'm Violet, and this is my story. My sister and I are identical twins. Well, Identical, sort of. I mean, I have a different fashion sense than she does. I think my fashion sense is amazing. But my sister Scarlett thinks she is the best person in the whole world. She thinks she's the prettiest, the smartest, and the most popular. Violet, what are you doing in my room? Get out! Um, Scarlett, I hate to break this news to you, but it's our room. We share it. Duh, that's why we have the bunk beds. Ugh, don't remind me. I have to share my bedroom with my lame sister. A popular, beautiful, successful, smart girl like me shouldn't be with such a lame sister like you all the time. See what I mean? My sister is so full of herself. But she's about to find out that not everything gets to go her way. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they go Violet's way. What are you even talking about, Violet? Get out. I need to call my boyfriend. Fine, Scarlet, whatever, but this is my room too. <sighs> There's Jareth. He's so, so cute. Too bad he's my sister's boyfriend. <sighs> She's so lucky. Hi, Jareth. Um, are we going to sit together today at lunch? Of course, babe. Uh, who else would I sit with? You're the most popular, most beautiful, smartest girl in school. Of course you should be with me. I'm the most popular football player in the school. <laughs> You're right. We're just made for each other. <laughs> okay, class. Who can tell me what was Shakespeare's first play? And as a bonus question, when was it written? Oh, I know, I know, pick me, Violet, pick me. Scarlet, she always picks her. She's probably just looking it up on her phone. Shakespeare's first play was King Henry, and it was written between 1589 and 1591. Wow, Scarlet, I'm very impressed. I'm going to give you a free ticket for ice cream at lunch today as a reward. Ugh. My sister is so annoying. I knew the answer to that because I studied, not because I cheated with Google. What? Violet, what are you talking about? Would you like to share your thoughts with the class? Yes, I would. My sister is super annoying. She didn't even know the answer to that. Oh, that's not very nice to say, Violet. Perhaps you would like to sit in detention today to think about how to be nicer to your sister. But, but, Mrs. Smith, it's true. My sister super, well, annoying, and she cheats, and, and it, she's not the only one that's smart, you know. Uh, Violet, that's an hour detention after school. Please take a seat. Oh, I am so sick of my twin sister. All right, class is dismissed, except for you, Violet. You know you have an hour detention. See you later, loser! Yeah, <laughs> have fun in detention. Come on, Scarlet, we can go hang out at the ice cream shop. Of course, Jareth, I'd love to. I am so tired of my sister. I'm really gonna make her pay. She has to. I will have my revenge. So it was right about then that I went a little bonkers, a little crazy. Uh, to put it mildly, I was nuts but you would be too if you had a twin sister that made you feel 
horrible about yourself. I decided to go to the local hardware store in Brookhaven and I bought some bars and nails and, and a bunch of other fun stuff to capture my sister and take over her life. But don't worry, like, I'm gonna give her food and water and stuff. I just, I'm gonna trap her in there and then I'm gonna have a really good life <laughs> as my sister, Scarlet. <laughs> No one's even gonna know the difference. I started creating my plans in the bathroom. That way no one would be suspicious of what I was doing. Honey, are you okay in there? Don't forget, your sister Scarlet has to get ready and it takes her a really um, long time to make her hair perfect. Um, well my hair might need to look perfect too, Mom. Uh, yeah, I'm sure it does, honey, but you know, Scarlet always gets an hour in the bathroom. Always gets her way, <laughs> but not for long, not for long at all. Finally, the day arrived when I was going to trap my sister and then take over her life. But how exactly was I going to get Scarlet into the prison? Is this a prank, Violet? You told me that you got a new Gucci bag and, and you got it for free, but you didn't want it because you're such a dork and you'd never look good with it anyway. So present the Gucci bag. Oh, it's right down here, sister. Just just follow me. Whoa, it's dark down here. What, what, what is this place? Oh, nothing. Let me just turn on the light so you can see. What? Why am I in this prison cell? Violet, what's going on? This prank is not funny. Welcome to your new life, Scarlet. You've imprisoned me with your horrible bullying for so many years. Now, it's your turn to see what it feels like. Um, I only have one thing to say. Mom! Uh, she can't hear you, Scarlet, because I made the walls soundproof. <laughs> uh, sister, you have gone totally bonkers. So what if I have? <laughs> Seriously, Violet, you're starting to scare me. Let me out of here. Not a chance. I'm going to take over your life. I'm going to be popular. I'm going to have a boyfriend. Everyone will think I'm amazing. Have a nice life, Scarlet. Oh, hi, Violet. Are you feeling okay? Uh, not really. I'm feeling a little bit like... Bonkers! What? Maybe you should go lay down, honey. You seem... A, a little strange. Okay, I'll go lay down. My plan is working perfectly. I want my mom to think that I, Violet, have disappeared because I went insane and that we shall never miss me. Then when I pretend to be Scarlet, <laughs> my plan will work perfectly. There's some makeup and now I just have to get rid of these glasses. Perfect! Now, where does Scarlet keep her cheerleading outfits? Hi, I'm Scarlet. I'm popular. Everyone loves me. <laughs> oh, hi, Scarlet. Uh, yeah, I am Scarlet. Have you seen Violet? I'm a little worried about her. She was acting a little crazy, and um, I don't know. I, I, I think maybe she needs to go to the doctor. Oh no, last time I heard she was packing a bag and she was never returning. What? She, she, she's running away? Don't worry, I'm the better twin anyway. We won't even miss her. Bye, Mom! There's Cherith. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. What's amazing, babe? You're amazing. Look how beautiful you are. Oh my gosh, he doesn't even know that I'm Violet. He thinks that I'm beautiful. Wow, for the first time ever, people are paying attention to me. Babe, you're gonna get in or what? Uh, yeah, Jareth, your car is amazing. Thanks, my dad just bought it for me. <laughs> We're rich like that. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Maybe someday when we get married, I can be rich too. Uh, yeah, babe, slow down. We're still in high school. We're not getting married yet. Of course, Jareth, of course. I can't believe we've been dating for over a year now. Me either. Ah, this has been the best year of my life. 
Me too. Uh, we're going to be graduating soon, and I'm going to be going to college, but I hope we can stay boyfriend and girlfriend. Me too, Jareth. Me too. Uh, maybe we could even try to go to the same college as each other. Oh, wow. That's pretty amazing. I had pretended to be my sister for an entire year, and nobody had figured it out. I was happier than ever. Jareth was my boyfriend. I was a star cheerleader. The teacher actually called on me, and I gave right answers in class. Everything was perfect. I don't care if everyone thought I was Scarlet. I was never, ever giving her her life back. Little did I know my sister was about to escape down through the toilet and into the sewers and things were about to get even crazier. So babe, do you uh, want to go to the movies? I sure do, Jared. Hey! Sister! What? How, how, how did this, how did, how did you escape? Violet! Holy guacamole, you look terrible! Violet? I'm not Violet! I'm Scarlet! I was locked away! What? You're not Scarlet? This is Scarlet! And she and I are on a date. I don't know where you've been, Violet, but you're crazy. Don't you see, Jareth? You're my boyfriend! This is Violet, and she locked me away in a, in a prison for a year! What? <laughs> Violet, I think you've got some head trauma going on. She tried to take over my life! Jareth, you have to believe me! But nobody believed my sister. And she had to now be Violet forever. <laughs> and I'm Scarlet forever. <laughs> Life is good. Close till next summer? Oh, man! Molly, how could you be thinking about ice cream right now when our best friend is in the hospital? Ay, ay, ay. No, I wasn't thinking about ice cream for me. I was thinking about taking some to Brookie Cookie. When I feel sick, ice cream always makes me feel better. And cookies and cakes and pizza. Hey, I can't help it. I'm always hungry. <laughs> Come on, Molly. We have to go see Brookie Cookie. She's going to be missing all of her friends. Yeah, you're probably right. Even if I can't take her any ice cream. Molly, where you going? You're going the wrong way. Oh, <laughs> oopsie. You're still thinking about that ice cream, aren't you? Um, well, uh, Molly. Hello, can I help you, please? Uh, hi, I'm here to see my friend. Okay, what's her name? Uh, Brookie Cookie. Molly, that's just what you call her. Her name is Brookie. Oh, yeah, her name is Brookie. Oh, yes, she's been very sick. She has? Well, is she okay? Um, let me see. Her chart says yes, she's been doing better. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, she's on the second floor, room three. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, I can't believe my best friend is in the hospital. Ooh, the cafeteria. Ew, kind of looks kind of gross. Yeah, we don't have time for that anyway, Molly. Come on, we're going to see Pookie. Sheesh, if I had a dollar for every time Molly thought about her stomach, I would be a billionaire. <laughs> room three, Molly. Um, no, that's not the right room. She said room three. No, this isn't the right room. Okay, is it this room? No. Dizzy, why are you running into me? Why are you running into me? Uh, uh, uh. Daisy, did you come through that room? Yeah, they, they're linked together, see? Oh. Is somebody there? Brookie! Oh, you look awful! Gee, Molly, make her feel good. Oh, sorry. I mean, you don't you don't look ugly. You just look sick. Molly! Sorry, I'm, I didn't call her ugly. I just said you look sick. It's okay. I know I look terrible. Oh, I've been so sick. Are you any better? I'm feeling quite a bit better, but... I'm still not able to go home yet. Well, your stats all look good. What are you, a doctor, Molly? Sheesh. I don't know. I just, I read about it on Google. Call me Dr. Google. <laughs> so uh, I picked one of these up in the cafeteria. I hope you guys don't mind. Oh, this burger is delicious. Molly, quit eating in front of Bookie Cookie. She might not want any. Oh, ew, a burger. Gross. Oh, I think I'm going to throw up. 
No, no, no. Don't do that, Brookie. I put it away. Sorry. Ay, yeah, yeah. You and your stomach, Molly. When do you think you'll be able to come home, Brookie? Um, I'm not really sure, but they're saying maybe, like, next week. Whoa, you're going to be in the hospital two weeks by then. Wow, I'm so glad you're getting better, though, even if you still look sick. Yeah, me too. Hello. Sarah, what are you doing here? I came to visit the patient. Why are you holding that umbrella? I just thought maybe I could use it to protect myself against all these germs. Um, no. That's what you use a hazmat suit for. Oh, well, I guess I can put this away then. <laughs> um, so you never said why you're here. I mean, are you guys friends? Well, sort of. Not really. Well, it was very nice of you to come visit. I don't like being nice. Um, okay. Did you guys know that this hospital is haunted? What? No, it's not. Look at this. It's a nice hospital. They're taking very good care of Bookie Cookie. No, this part of the hospital is the new part. There's an old wing of the hospital that's connected to this, and it's haunted. No one ever goes down there because they said there's tons of ghosts. What? That's, that's really creepy. Uh, are you guys talking about the haunted wing of the hospital? Wait, you know about this, Brookie? Yeah, everybody knows about it. O-M-G. Um, well, I think we should go there. What? Are you crazy? Well, if you guys are going, I'm going too. What, Brookie? No, you're too sick. Don't do this. She has a fever. She doesn't know what she's saying. <laughs> well, have fun, losers. I'm sure the ghosts will get you, and I won't have to deal with you anymore. What? Sarah? Oh, she's such a troublemaker. I know, right, Molly? Well, Brookie, I think you should stay in bed. No, I want to know what's over there. I mean, I'm having to stay in this hospital at night, and it's creepy. I hear things from the other wing. Brookie, I don't think this is a good idea. C come back here. No, I have to know. Daisy, I think Brookie has such a high fever that she doesn't know what she's doing. Well, Molly, there's only one thing to do. Um, go see if the ice cream shop's open. No, Molly, follow her. Sheesh. I don't want to go. It's going to be creepy. You're the one who said you wanted to go. Well, I changed my mind when I thought about the ice cream. Whoa. This wing of the hospital really is creepy. Brookie? Brookie? Molly, where did she go? I don't know, Daisy, but I don't like this place. It's really creepy over here. No wonder they shut this place down. Ew! 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 What's in the toilet? Molly, is it a ghost? Um, no, it's definitely not a ghost. Ew! Gross! Someone didn't flush. Okay, they were in such a hurry to get out of here, they didn't even flush. Uh, Molly, do you see that ambulance outside? Why is it shaking around the, the parking lot all on its own? I don't know, Molly, but that's creepy. Okay, do you remember how we came in here? Not really. Oh, my God. We're stuck in this creepy hospital forever. What was that? Molly, it's nothing. It's just TV static. Oh, this is so creepy. Okay, maybe we should go this way. This way, Molly. I don't know, Daisy. You first. You first. Okay, Molly. I don't think this is haunted at all. It feels like the same room over and over and over and over and over. Wait, what's that? I see something at the end of the hall. Looks like writing on the wall. Yeah, or something. Let's go look. What's it say? The elevator stops on the first floor to pay to let patients in the elevator. Uh, do you think we should take the elevator? Um, I don't know. Could you stop pushing me? Sorry, I'm a little creeped out, Molly. Okay, I pushed the button. Do you think we'll be able to find Brookie up there? I don't know, Miles. I don't know. Did you just call me Miles? Don't ever call me that again. Okay, Molly. Cheapos, I just tried to come up with a cute nickname for you. Um, Daisy? What's this? It looks like a van crashed into the hospital. Ew, it's gross in here. This whole place is weird. It's giving me the real creeps. You're not the only one, Daisy. Whoa. Daisy? I'm right here, Molly Jeepers. It's like the same room over and over again. 
What's that glowing red down here? Probably something creepy, Molly. I wouldn't do it if I were you. It's coming from in here. What's that? Daisy, what is that? Molly, I don't know. I'm going to go see. Um, it looks like... It looks like a piece of equipment, but it's... Daisy, you touched it! And then you died! Daisy! It's okay, Molly. I can come back. Everything's floating in the air. It's definitely haunted in here, Molly. I suggest we try to find a way out. And quick! Holy guacamole. Daisy? I thought you could come back! I don't know, Molly. I might be stuck as a ghost in this hospital forever. What? I'm here alone? Are you serious? No, Daisy! I don't want to be here alone! This is too creepy! Sorry, Molly. I can't help it if I die. Oh my god, no! This has turned out to be a very bad idea. Molly, do you think it's a good idea to go into the basement? Um, well, I think it's the only way that we could maybe find a way out. Yeah, but Molly, creepy things are always in the basement. What? No, they're not. Yes, Molly, always. It's where the creepy things hang out. Oh, but look, there's there's a car here, which means there's got to be a way out. Okay, Molly, if you say so. Ooh, what, what, what was that sound? What sound? Oh, my God, I hear it, too. Ah, ah. Molly, what was that? I don't know. No, this whole place is giving me the creeps. Daisy, what, what, what was that? I don't know, Molly. I saw that, too. I think it was a ghost. I think it was. 